Hello all and welcome to yet another video from Sprout Plus. I am your host Emmanuel and in this video I will be talking about how to fix WordPress not sending email issue. If you are using WordPress there is a good chance that you have contact form or some sort of form. If anyone wants to contact you they will fill in their details and click on submit button and that information is sent through email to you. If the emails are not sending to you obviously there are some sort of issue. So we need to troubleshoot why are the emails not coming from your WordPress site. Now it doesn't matter if you are using a managed WordPress hosting provider or just a general web hosting provider. It's one of those things where even if they do not offer support for email it doesn't mean that you cannot send emails through WordPress. But if you are not receiving your emails then there is a chance that there is some sort of problem and this could be with the plugin. It can also be with a server and it could be a PHP issue as well. So let's go and look at some ways to troubleshoot this. One of the easiest solution is to make sure that you can even send mails on your server. So what we are going to do is we are going to add a plugin to test this for us. While you are on your admin dashboard simply go to plugins and add new. Now in the keyword box start to type in the word check email plugin. and here it is. We are going to install it and activate it and what it is going to do is it is going to simply test our WordPress installation and our server to make sure that we can send emails. Now once we have this plugin installed we are simply going to go and check email function under our tools in the menu section of our WordPress dashboard. Now we are going to enter an email address. We are going to send a test email and now it doesn't matter which email you put in but typically if you have your own personal email or you know some sort of email that you can answer that might be the email so put that email. So we are going to enter in the email address and then send test mail. Now you should get a confirmation to let you know that it has been sent now. It has been sent now but it doesn't mean that the ma mail has been delivered. That's why you have to go to the other end wherever you are sending this test email to see if you actually receive this email and it should say something like test email from your domain.com or whatever it says and you might want to check your spam or junk folder just in case. If you receive the email that means WordPress website emails perfectly so that is not necessarily the issue. It is something that's misconfigured but either way we should know that there's something other than our web server causing the issue. Now one of the most common reasons that you may not be able to send emails is because your WordPress hosting server is not configured to use a PHP mail function within its system. So you might simply not be able to use the email function. We just have to find a different solution. One of the most common ways for this is using a Gmail SMTP. Basically SMTP stands for simple mail transfer protocol and it, it is actually an industry standard for sending emails. So if you are unable to use a PHP function it's something where the SMTP uses proper authentication which actually increases your email deliverability. So having a stronger connection, proper authentication makes it where your emails are going to go and you know in a better way so that you are not going to miss out on some emails or the emails may not get lost. It is one of those things where SMTP is going to make sure that you are going to get more emails delivered to you and with fewer errors involved. Now to configure this. One easiest way is to get the Gmail SMTP plugin. So again we are going to go to your dashboard and we are going to go to plugins and add new and now we are going to look for the Gmail SMTP plugin. We are simply going to install it and activate it. What's nice about this is that you can just use your normal Gmail address. Now if you have Google Apps for work this definitely helps a lot more. So in that way you can use your domain name 
but it's something where you can easily use your regular Gmail account and send out your emails. Now once we have this plugin installed, we are simply going to go to our settings and now we are going to look for Gmail SMTP and now Gmail is going to want us to create an app and use API keys to their SMTP servers. So this is very simple and all the instructions are right here to let you know exactly what you need to do. A lot of times email service providers use many tools to reduce email spam. These tools often try to detect that email is originating from the location it claims to be originating from. So for example, if you are seeing an email, it is completely legitimate but for some reason the email provider may not actually send email or they might not deliver it. It may bounce right back to you. So we will visit developer.console.google.com. and here is the platform and you have to click on create project and here you have to enter your project name and click on create and this page you have to click on enable apis and services and in the api library search for gmail api and once it is done click on enable and in the following page click on create credentials and in this page you have to select your API and we'll choose user data and then click on the next button And here you can name your app and enter your support email. If you have a logo, upload it, but it is not really necessary. And now enter the developer contact information. Now click on save and continue for the scopes, just leave it as it is and proceed. Now for OAuth client ID, select the application to be a web application. And after that enter your application name. and under authorized javascript origins please enter your website's url and for authorized redirect url you can copy this from the plugin page and then you have to click on create button Once you do that, you paste your client ID in the plugin settings page. And now we need client secret. And for that, we have to go back to the console. And under the newly created app details, you can click on edit. And here you can find client secret. Copy this and paste it on your plugin settings page. 
and then fill in your OAuth email address and all other details which you know from the information given here. If you use TLS, please enter your port number as 587 and click on save changes. And now at the console, please click on OAuth consent screen from the console. And after that, click on publish app and later confirm it. And now in the dashboard, click on grant permission and authenticate it by logging in. And that's it, you're done. Now once again, we can send a test email and check for email. And yes, we have received the email. So again, as one of those things where you may simply have to contact your web hosting provider. If it is something where they do offer email support, it could be also if you are using cPanel for example and they have a spam control set very high so that even if you're resending yourself a test email they may not be sending it to you because of some sort of keyword or something involved in your email that's triggering the spam alert sometimes simply adding a link could cause this type of issue so again these are very easy things that you can overcome it's just the troubleshooting which is going to work for you and fix your issue I hope I have made you guys understand how to fix WordPress not sending emails. Try it for yourself and let me know in the comments. I will meet you guys in the next video. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.